it is one of the fastest ways, if not even the fastest way, to get the settlement permit. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hanupo. As you already know, the only girl that pours some honey into our content. Yes, thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate the fact that you clicked on my video and you are watching it. And if you are new here, I will beg you to please subscribe. If you have subscribed before, please do not press the subscribe button again. Just like the video, turn on the post, notifi uh, post notifications and share this video to so many people. Thank you so much. I am here and I make videos about lifestyle, especially lifestyles in Germany, beauty, fashion, family, and even YouTube tips. Please, I think I have so many videos already on that. You can, you know, check it out. Thank you for supporting your girl. <laughs> in my previous video, I talked about various routes you can take to come to Germany. I'll be linking the video here or in my description box down below so you can actually watch it to see the video thank you so today i'll be talking about how you can actually get the permanent residency in either two years or three years that sounds interesting eh so but before we do that i will give you or i will say different ways in which you can get the permanent residency there are several ways to get a permanent residency and the first one I'll be talking about is if you are a self-employed person. You may get the settlement permit. The settlement permit is also known as a permanent residency. You may get this if only you can provide that after three years you are successful and can earn for your livelihood and support your dependents if you have any. So if you are actually a business person, after three years, they need to see if you are successful. Are you able to, you know, um, support yourself through feeding, accommodation, and all of those things? That is um, livelihood. Then if you have dependents, are you able to, you know, support your dependents with your income? Do you have sufficient income to cover all of these things? So when you have your sufficient income and everything has been um, checked, then you can get your permanent residency. Children of foreign nationals can also get this settlement permit if they have held a residence permit for at least five years when they turn 16. If you are of age, that is if you are more than 16 years of age, you can also obtain the settlement permit if you have held the residence permit for at least five years and you have sufficient knowledge of the German language and you are also able to secure your livelihood or if you are undergoing a training that will lead to recognized qualification you can obtain a settlement permit if you are a family member of a foreign national with an open-ended residence title if you guys are married and have been living in cohabitation you can get this permit even if you guys are separated and are no longer living together you can also get this settlement permit provided that you can secure your own livelihood they need to check the amount of income you are making and also the maintenance income that your uh, that your partner is also providing you with so these two things has to be has to be put in calculation before you can get the settlement permits now to the most interesting part of this discussion which is the eu blue card it is one of the fastest ways if not even the fastest way to get the settlement permit what is an eu blue card eu blue cards are issued by eu member states to third country nationals a person who has the eu blue card is entitled to take up residence in the eu for the purpose of taking up gainful employment so when you have the eu blue card you might not only reside in germany or even work in germany you are entitled to work anywhere in the EU. You can obtain the EU blue card if you are a university degree holder. Yes, this is for my graduates. It doesn't matter if you acquired your degree in Germany, abroad, or even in your home country. It just needs to be equivalent to that of a German degree. How do you know if it is equivalent? You need to go to the Anna Bins website 
and input your university's name and see if it comes up with the H+. Plus. The H+, plus means that the university is actually recognized in your home country. You can also book a session with the counseling officials. They will tell you if your university degree is equivalent to that of a German's degree. Then they can also help you to tell you the kind of documents you will need in order to have a successful application. You can book a session with them if you are in Germany or you are abroad. You can call them from wherever you are. And they are also available in countries like Poland, Vietnam, Italy, Egypt, and so on. I'll be giving the list on the screen. You cannot get this EU blue card from your home country. You need to come to Germany first then apply for the eu blue card at the foreigners office you can always call the foreigners office because every individual's case is different in order to get the eu blue card you need to have a concrete job offer and this can be done in two ways it is either you apply from your home country or you come to germany and look for job if you'll be coming to germany You'll be given a visa of six months to come and seek for job. You need to provide proof of sufficient funds that you can take care of yourself during this time to look for job. You cannot work with this visa. You can only look for jobs and take trial employment for up to 10 hours per week. The EU Blue Card actually comes with the benefit of you applying for the settlement permit after 33 months of you holding the blue card. It can even be shortened to 21 months if you can provide the proof that you understand the German language up to B1 level. That is in two years, 21 months. Wow, so interesting. And the second thing is that you must have been in a highly qualified employment during this time and must have contributed to the pension fund. Everything I have said in this video is available in the immigration official website. I will be giving a link in the description below so you can check it out for further reading. Having the EU Blue Card comes with a wide range of opportunity which you can, you know, get your permanent residency in two years or three years. I hope this video has been um, informative and educative enough. Please, in case you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop it in the comment section. I will be very happy and glad to, um, to respond to your questions. And if you would like me to make another video on anything, please put it in the comment section. Tell me, Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. And I will just drop it for you. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. I will see you in my next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Wait, did I say bye-bye? Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you haven't. Okay, then. Then this is the official bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>